every minute is action-packed as you experience the excitement of the Old West. Ghost Town offers a day of fun and thrills for the entire family. Get set for the greatest in family entertainment. Hurry to Ghost Town in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, where the fun never stops. Today, I'm taking you to the Great Smoky Mountains to explore a place unlike any in the world. Cast against the backdrop of the Southern Appalachia's highest peaks sits an abandoned attraction called Ghost Town, a Wild West-themed amusement park. Built in 1961, Ghost Town became wildly popular throughout the 70s and 80s and brought millions of visitors to the small town of Maggie Valley, North Carolina. After admission, guests would take the famous 17-minute chairlift ride, ascending one mile up Buck Mountain to the theme park. It was from there, visitors would enjoy live stage performances, shopping, hourly gunfights in the streets, and a selection of rides, including the park's infamous roller coaster overlooking the edge of the mountain. But in the mid-1990s, things took a turn. Ghost Town began to struggle to remain open as mechanical issues were piling, along with the declining American fascination with the Wild West. As park administrators added newer, more modern rides, the old ones kept breaking down, creating a never-ending list of things to fix and more money to spend. But it wasn't until July of 2002, there was a chairlift incident that put the nail in the coffin for Ghost Town. Several visitors were on their way up to the theme park when the chairlift suddenly locked up, leaving the passengers suspended in the air alongside the mountain for over two hours. That next morning, it was announced that Ghost Town would close its doors for good. Ghost Town's closing sent a ripple effect throughout the entire area, stripping away over 400 jobs. Additionally, Maggie Valley's tourist economy practically vanished overnight. And like a self-fulfilling prophecy, this mountaintop theme park has carried out its name as a real-life ghost town in the sky. So join me and my friends Mo and Leslie as we journey up the 4,700-foot incline to see what's left behind. Hey guys, here we are at the base of this mountain. I'm here with Mo from Explomo. Hi guys. Hey, and Leslie from Rosa Decay. These guys came all the way from Belgium to see this place. We're about to hike up this steep mountain. We're gonna be exhausted by the time we even get to the place, but it's so worth it. I can't wait to show you guys. We didn't want to take our chances by parking in an obvious spot, so we decided it was best to park away from the base of the mountain. Packed with water, food, and camera gear, we quietly made our way through a sleepy neighborhood and into the dark woods at the base of the mountain. The idea was to fight our way through the thorns and thick brush to find the zigzagged trail. But like most explorations I go on, it didn't take long for us to run into trouble. So there is a car. Yeah, there was a car right now in the park, and that's where I don't even need us. Absolutely. I feel like that could be a good So go up. We decided to press on and use the darkness to our advantage. Once we slipped away, we could shake our nerves and begin the steep climb up to Ghost Town. So we're probably at like 10, 15% the way up the mountain. We're trying to pre-dawn this place to avoid getting caught. But man, this is a steep mountain. When I say this is probably the most difficult exploration I've ever done, it truly is. The sun's about to come up in like 45 minutes. So we're hoping we'll get to the top of this mountain before then to witness the sunrise from the theme park. I 
celebration for making it almost halfway. To numb the pain. To numb the pain. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, that's good. It's refreshing. Yeah. What's the word for cheers in your country? Prost. Prost. I said it like an American, huh? You said it like an American, yeah. yeah. Dutch is a very difficult language to learn, so I don't blame you. We speak English. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty darn good. Let's do it. So we just made it up to the top of the mountain, and now we're just looking at the city below. We're gonna catch sunrise in Ghost Town. We just reached the base of the roller coaster. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So now we're inside the theme park. So these right here, these are for the ski lift. These would carry passengers up to the theme park. And here's the ski lift right here. So this is where people would line up to ride the ski lift down the mountain. Now it's just decaying away. So it's been almost a year since I've been here and this place has gotten pretty popular with explorers and vandals. I've heard rumors that just in the month of November, 30 people have been arrested here. So this is gonna be a risky exploration. Just think like back in the day, there used to be just lines of people waiting to ride this. And now it's all grown over. It's so eerie. This is where you'd get onto the ride right here. The roller coaster would line up, you'd hop on the ride, and down you go. I'm speechless, I mean, this is the full experience. <laughs> what do you think? Just look at my smile, man. I've always wanted to catch sunrise here and now I'm doing it. So at least if I get arrested today, I can say that I watched sunrise from ghost town. You can see it already like on the tip over there. The sun just peaked right over the mountain. <laughs> Look at that. Amazing is even an understatement. I know it's such an understatement. Like you said, the camera is not doing the justice. This is absolutely amazing. We're about to begin our exploration of this place. But for right now, we're just taking it in, just kind of really sitting in silence. It's very quiet up here, really peaceful up here in the beautiful Smoky Mountains. This is incredible. Look at all the moss growing on it. It's crazy. And these trees growing all around it now. This is wild. So it looks like this is probably some kind of maintenance shed for the roller coasters. This is one of the wheels of the roller coaster. This is the operation manual for the roller coaster. So if you were a new employee, there you go, man. <laughs> yeah, you're all set. You're all set. You don't need any training, you have... No, no, just read through it. Yeah, just tomorrow we can just start. <laughs> And check this out, this is like some kind of vehicle that they would drive through the place. Man, this thing's been sitting here for a while. Look at all the dry rot of the tire, all the natural decay growing on it. I'm absolutely blown away by this place. About to walk into the haunted house. Man, we got stains of blood over here on the walls. Here we go. Oh, dang. The bird gets bad, man. <laughs> oh, it's a whole murder scene. Absolutely. Full of blood and everything. The entire bathtub is filled with blood. Someone's foot, body parts. What's this even like? An intestine or something? 
This is actually pretty graphic for being like a kid's haunted house. Yeah, you're right. Oh wow, it's like an old bar. Wow, it's very thorough. Like they have it all staged with like alcohol, an old piano. Wow, look at this. Have a whole library set up inside this place. This is a very thorough haunted house. I bet there's some good books on this wall somewhere. There's also like random rats and everything. Uh, I know. <laughs> there's like blood stains and like body parts. That's just not even practical. <laughs> they set up like a kitchen in here. I think the children that were in here and that experienced this must be really scared. Because oh yeah. They are, yeah. These are horrifying to see. Oh, there's an entire kitchen over there. <laughs> Oh intestines in the refrigerator. Everywhere this actually ends up. I don't know. This is actually a very big haunted house. Oh my. Dude, it just keeps going. I'm dude, I'm impressed. You're definitely getting your money's worth at this place. This is the butcher's room. The butcher's room. <laughs> Look at this. A mangled, chopped up body. Like an old western style coffin in here. An organ. I guess that's the mother dead in the bed. Very graphic for being in like a children's haunted house. It's really graphic. It didn't spare anything. I feel like these days you can't do that because people would get very offended. Yeah, you know what I mean? Offended about any favorite you today. I know. This is like a sort of a mouse nest. You can see yeah. all dead mouses in here. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Just like they found all this stuff at all these thrift stores and they're like, yeah, sure, we'll just oh, throw no, that in here. Yeah. <laughs> a creepy monster. An old projector light. You can tell they recycled a lot of the equipment, like the carnival equipment. We've reached the end of the haunted house. We've been haunted. So we're gonna stay off the road as much as possible. We're gonna stay in the bushes and in the woods. Look at this view, guys. Absolutely incredible. Up, up, up. All right, so we're getting closer to the, the ghost town looking area. And first stop is this amazing church. It's in like pristine condition. So here's the church, the doors are wide open. Look at this. I imagine that the people that came to this place also attended like a real church sitting over here. The people are all here. It's very beautiful. The doors are just straight open. But they can't even know it. It's just so immaculate in here. There's just no, no decay, no graffiti. No vandalism whatsoever. The hymn book is still on the piano. The Frontier Community Church held actual church services every Sunday morning. Local ministers from the surrounding area would deliver a sermon to a congregation of ghost town visitors seeking a moment of refuge among the commotion. The preachers were able to keep the donations given by the churchgoers as a small token of their appreciation. Oh, 
onward. On into Ghost Town. I love this view of the church. Right on the edge of the mountain. You can see so far. So back in the day, when this place was active, there would be a uh, shootout scene that would happen here. Because you can't have a western town without a good old shootout. would play in here on this stage and there was a bar here but I imagine it was alcohol free look at all this equipment that's just still left behind all these old coke machines I love the menu still on the on the wall no cussing no horses in saloon no sleeping under tables you spittoons no pinching of dancers <laughs> so cheesy I think they did a really good job of replicating an old, like, western town, though. It's a very cool place. All this lighting is still here. I love this old piano. Okay, now we're going to the arcade. All the arcade machines over here to That's cool. All the machines are just still left like this. Yeah. This, this is crazy. crazy. Those are still used. And then from the one day to the other, the bar closed. And ever since, yeah. they'd be fading to dust there. They had no idea. I think they had no idea indeed that they would close for that long. What do you think about the future of this park? It's decaying beyond repair at this point. Yeah. They're basically going to have to build a park from ground up. Everything is built out of wood, basically, so it's also very poor material to construct all those, those buildings. Exactly. This is also around the time in America we had a real estate collapse. 2008. That also probably had a major part to play in why this place is abandoned the way that it is. Next building, here we come. Man, look how all this is just rotting in. This porch is sagging. So much water damage. Definitely a, a shop in here. Some retail, buy some ghost town merchandise. I know I keep saying it, but this place is so surreal. It's just, um, it's so crazy how big this place is. Very rotted. So I imagine this was like offices for the staff. Maybe a break room up here or something. Again, all this stuff is just plywood. So 
So like I mentioned before, we're trying to stay as close by with each other as possible. If we encounter security, we can all run together and probably spread out from there. Oh, this is really neat. So many pianos. I feel like we've already seen like 10 pianos. <laughs> Looks like he lost his boot. His boot as well, yeah. That's probably why he's also falling down. Look at the roof, man. I think there was some sort of a fire in here. I think you're right, man. Looks yeah. like fire damage. I see it is completely <clears throat> cool. It makes you wonder if that's one of the reasons why they're so protective of, of this place. Yeah. Because some people, kids come in here. Exactly. Fire. It's all from made from wood. Yeah. So it will go up in flames. Oh yeah. If you light one of these buildings on yeah. fire, this Everything whole place is, is up. Everything is gone. Yeah. It's good all the way through. One thing about these buildings is like they're a lot bigger than they seem. So it looks like there's a lot of audio equipment here. There's some outboard gear here. Yeah, a lot of stuff for a PA system. Some power amps, power conditioners. Oh man, look at this. This is where they would put all the cash, take it to the bank and deposit it after a hard day's work here at the theme park. I gotta say, I'm glad that they do keep people out of this place. If they didn't protect it as much as they do, I imagine kids would come up here and burn this place to the ground. The bank. Oh, you found the bank. Did you find any money? Yeah, but I kept it all to myself. Nice. This is cool. Who took the dinners though? No worries. Like the bookkeeper, the teller. Oh, look at this. Very cool. So I think out of all the buildings here, this one's definitely my favorite. Earlier this year, I came out here and it was foggy and snowy. And I took one of my favorite photos I've ever taken of this building. So this is the other saloon. Look at all this water damage. The building is just falling in on itself. Looks like at one point they tried to protect it, but eventually just gave up. I always think about the owner and how, like, how helpless he must feel watching this place just decay away. Man, this is incredible. Holy cow. It's really cool that even like backstage, they kept the Western aesthetic. There's so much still left behind. Man, it's crazy. An old witch hat. Some wigs. I love the old chandeliers in here. Wow. Big room. It's a very interesting looking uh, tables for the guests to like drink and eat on. All right, moving along. 
It's starting to get a little warmer. It's not so bad anymore. Looks like more retail shops in here. I love how all the leaves have just blown into the building. It's very cinematic looking. It's a big restaurant in here. So cool looking. Definitely another gift shop. So here's the like the iconic ghost town shed thingy. Very cool looking. Looks like a uh, photo booth to get your portraits taken with your family. So over here to the right is where security drives up. So we're gonna make this a hop in the skip past this little area. Silver Mine Casino. Look at this guys. So these doors would open and then the, the games would begin. Absolutely. And so many of the prizes are like there's still a doll hanging wow, over there. Nice. And also where all the dolls are laying inside, like, it's amazing. I think you have to throw the ball inside to come out of the cloud. Yeah. Yeah. The doll. It's like a carnival game. Merchandise still on the walls. I love these, uh, these postcards. We climbed that today. Yeah. We climbed this entire mountain, but we didn't do it in one straight way. It was like zigzag, zigzag, yeah. zigzag. And steep, steeper as it looks in this picture. Definitely. It's cool. so crazy. It looks like a hill in this photo. This is 4,700 feet. It definitely looks way different in person. You know, this was like a basketball game for the children. Yeah, totally. Whoa, look at this. Wow. This is so cool. It's so crazy how so much of the merchandise is still here. Looks like some kind of food court or something. This is pretty vandalized. Definitely the most vandalized part of the place that we've seen so far. I love the ceiling in here. This is cool. This is one of those big rides that would swing back and forth, or it's the piece to it anyway. I wonder where the uh, upper assembly is. And check this out. All grown over is a kid's roller coaster. It's just so surreal, like seeing a children's ride out here, basically with like woods growing up around it now. This is so wild. Onward we go. So we're starting to get to the highest point of the entire theme park. You can see the, the free fall ride there up top. Could you imagine the view from that ride? You're up there and you get a direct view of all these mountains and the whole town below. Check this out. This is one of the transportation buses. There she is, the original logo. So this is the music hall. It's probably the biggest venue on the property. It definitely has the biggest stage. There's just so much to this place that's just sitting and rotting. Here's a drum riser. So they would put the drum kit on this behind the band. This back here was the green room where the band would hang out before they play their show. And here's stage left access. It's a pretty big venue. I imagine the capacity of this room was 250 or 300, probably even more. And back in the day, this place used to be packed out. Over here is 
the swirly ride. Oh man, this is crazy. You have to be really careful walking on this. This is definitely an ankle breaker. This floor is falling in. So here's the free fall ride. Check it out. Seatbelt right here. Buckle in. Hold on for dear life. Looks like someone's lying dead face down in the dirt. If we do not end up like this, I think we did a pretty good job. We got sure. Any CPR? Check this out. You used to be able to put some coins in here and look out this view. This is crazy. Looks like Leslie found something. Wow. Whoa, this is cool. It's like a little dentist office inside. Do you want to go in there? Yeah, we'll do again. All right, I made it inside. So it's set up like an old dentist office. So there's one last section of the theme park that we haven't checked out yet. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, they have like targets set up everywhere. You do your best. Shoot, like probably little soft pellets or something. You win prizes. Man, all these games just sitting here like this. It's just crazy to think that this place used to bring so much economy to this town. They've been wanting to revive it for years, but I think they're gonna have to build an entirely new theme park for that to happen. But then, would people even come? That's the big question. And not only is this place rotting away, but it's kind of like a, a symbol of not only the decay of an era, but the decay of the town. Over the past 20 years, Ghost Town has been bought and sold several times in desperate attempts to reopen the park to no success. As of now, there's still talks of Ghost Town becoming Maggie Valley's main attraction again one day, but its future appears increasingly grim as it takes on more vandalism and nature continues its reclamation. Though the park is deteriorating, the original structures are still standing, much like tombstones on the side of Buck Mountain. We're making our way back down to the roller coaster. Looks a lot different in the daytime. Absolutely. Must have been so cool to ride this roller coaster. I bet it was terrifying because it looks like it's just a drop off right here, which it sort of is. And all you see is just mountain ranges in the background. This is so amazing. Look at this fool. So just like that, we watched the sunrise and now we're gonna watch the sunset. This has been an exhausting but amazing adventure. We've been up for over 24 hours now, but man, it's so worth it. I mean, look at this. 
It's so beautiful out here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this place in the comments below. And also I'm gonna link Leslie and Moe's information in the description as well. Thank you, man. What a pleasure. Absolutely, <laughs> dude. Absolutely, it was an honor. What a journey, man. Oh, man. What a journey. Such thank you so honor. much for joining us on this journey. Uh, exploring this place together was such a blast. It's we got to know each other better and it will definitely not be the last time we do a head and epic totally. place I'm together. gonna meet up with you guys when you go to New Orleans. I think it's gonna be so you can expect really cool. an episode from him in New Orleans. Six likes. So stay tuned for that, and that's why you gotta subscribe. <laughs> Alright, see you guys.